Hi, welcome back to We Make DevOps. Today we will see two CK exam questions that often repeated and how you can change them as a free hit. It means that never get wrong. The question is that take ETCD backup. What you will in the question you will get these endpoint, CSR, key and file. What you have to do? Either you can remember this full command. If you can remember, that's more than enough. But if you are not able to remember this command, just type etcd backup into the search bar of kubernetes.io. You will get this line because a single line command. And once you get this line, you just run it up to endpoint. Once you run the endpoint, because you will get that endpoint uh, entry here, you have you will get one error related to CSR. Just put that CSR value in it, and after that you will get that value for shard. And after that, it asking the value for key. Automatically, you will get this command. So this is very straightforward question, and it never get wrong if you know this logic up to end point and just getting uh, error in the format of CSR cert and provide the value. What I'm asking, I'm asking this question. Do it yourself. But where you have to do it? You have to do it on this playground. Because this playground provide you a way that how to set up two node cube ADM cluster. And in case of CK exam, there is often one question are coming, create a two node Kubernetes cluster. So by doing this ETCD backup, you will able to get one bonus question related to how you can set up two node Kubernetes cluster. So whole command I'm providing here. You have to log in here. You will get everything in the description box. Just go there and take every up to here and follow the instruction set up two node cluster and you will able to create etcd backup as well as two node cube ADM cluster itself. Next question is init container. There's often they are asking the simple straightforward question create a init container from this decimal file like they are providing you this port definition file and question is that the init container create a file that name is shared file dot txt if this file is exist then this main container that is uh, some alpine image they are using main container will be running continuously up to this time simple and straightforward like in init container you have to create this file what twist is there here normally if you are going to kubernetes.io in the search bar you will writing there init container you will get init container format but here they are giving that main container with the volume mount. So the mistake that I often see that people forgot to use volume mount with init container itself. So kindly make sure if you having volume mount with the main container, kindly keep same with the init container as well. Because in case of code, each container mounting to the same volume that, that is possible. And that only way that you will get init container working in this kind of question because it asking the file creating share file dot txt in the same mount point where it mounted both container so kindly keep in your mind that you have to put volume mount and rest command you will get into the kubernetes dot io docs itself and up to this uh, port definition file automatically you will get in the question so both question are the free hit but you have to take care of the things like in case of etcd you have to take care how to get create this whole command and in case of init container, you have to take care about the volume mount. For example, I already created this port definition file here and I'm just going to apply it kubectl apply hyphen up by init container. That's it. So I get the kubectl get port and that my port get initialized and after some time because I'm, I'm using it the same thing. So it, it came a running state. So I use this volume mount same with the init container as well. That's it. That is the motto of this three question. Hopefully you like this video.